Hello, I'm Dr. Cheryl Dunn, and I'm here to demonstrate a financial accounting problem for a company called Wander Yonder, Inc. In this problem, we're given some selected uh, information and asked to calculate the company's operating, investing, and financing cash flows. The first thing we need to realize is that the interest transactions that they gave us our operating activities. It doesn't matter whether it's short-term notes payable or long-term bonds payable, any interest that the company pays is an operating activity. It seems counterintuitive because it's interest on debt, so why is it not a financing activity? Uh, but because of how recurring interest is, uh, we feel like that it's better suited to be an operating activity. We want the operating cash flows to indicate those uh, recurring cash flows. So interest is operating. And so that means we're going to have 100000 as an outflow from operating activities. So that's the first thing we notice. The second thing we are given is the dividends that we pay on our common stock. Dividends that we pay are financing. And in fact, they are financing outflows. And so we have uh, in this case, $90,000 cash outflow from financing activities. And then finally, the dividends that the company receives this is from owning stock in another company. When we own stock in another company, that's considered to be an investment, which is a long-term asset. And activities involving long-term assets are investing activities. So when we receive the dividends, that's going to give us 12000 as an inflow of cash from investing activities. So we have a little bit of each in this scenario. We have 100,000 outflow operating cash flow. We have a 90,000 outflow from financing activities. And we have a 12,000 inflow from investing activities. So that's what the problem asked us for, for Wander Yonder, Inc. Thank you for viewing this demonstration, and I hope you found it helpful.